We are back now with the latest on campaign 2020. The Democratic candidates are spreading out across the country ahead of Super Tuesday. Bernie Sanders is campaigning here in New England with a stop in Springfield, Massachusetts tonight. Channel 3 chief capital reporter Susan Raff was at tonight's rally and has the highlights. When the doors opened at the Mass Mutual Center, the crowd started coming in and the campaign was ready. Well, we've uh, gone to Bernie rallies before. We were just in New Hampshire about three weeks ago. Dan Garrett brought his son Connor for the second time to see Bernie. This picture was taken four years ago. Was it exciting? There were a lot of people there, right? Yeah. And somehow they managed to get on the stage right behind Bernie Sanders. In case you haven't noticed, there are a few people here tonight. Thank you all very much for coming out. Sanders' messages are popular ones for his supporters. Action on climate change, free college, and his biggest proposal, universal health care. While people are fighting for their lives with cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, whatever it may be, then they got to worry about financial ruin for their family. Sanders has been attacked for his Medicare for All plan and its multi-trillion dollar price tag. But Sanders says Americans are spending more on co-pays and prescription drugs than Canada and most industrialized countries. A hundred years of talk is enough. Now is the time for action. But can Sanders beat Trump? I would urge them to take a look at the last 60 national polls. And they will find that 56 out of 60 times we beat Trump. Financial stability and education for your friends, your neighbors, your brother, sister's family. I think that'll help us win this election. A message we kept hearing over and over tonight, not me, us. Bernie Sanders saying it's not enough simply to watch TV. He's encouraging people to get involved. He now goes on to Boston, where he'll speak on Saturday, and then it's Super Tuesday. In Springfield, Massachusetts, Susan Rapp, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.